Welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on the channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. And today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys 3 Jokers Wave Red Hood. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. If that's your sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon so you stay notified when I do upload new content. And if you do enjoy this video or any other videos I put out, please remember to give them a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow and it's free and easy for you to do. With all that out of the way, guys, once again, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys 3 Jokers Red Hood figure. Now, this guy is super cool and I have to admit, I did read the 3 Joker storyline and it was good and it was bad at the same time. I have to admit, if you if you've read the story, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, it, it it's not really what you're expecting in terms of good. It's good in the sense of the storyline and everything, uh, but it's kind of lackluster at the end, kind of like the uh, deceased storyline. It's like really good lead ups and everything, and then it kind of just like it doesn't really deliver on the ending like you'd expect, and yet at the same time it does. Like it doesn't. It, deliver in this action-packed like super mega awesome ending uh, more on like the psychological way and side of things that's where it really thrives and you're like oh shit okay but you know people were expecting this big old battle between uh, Batman and Joker and that's just not what ended up happening but like I said throughout the comic series there are some really cool points and uh, parts that you would want to check out guys so I mean they do get down don't get me wrong there are plenty of times where Batman and Joker get down just not in the way that you would think a finale for this book series or this comic series would be. Uh, it goes down very differently. So I highly recommend you guys checking it out. But you're not here for my opinion on comic books. You are here for my opinion on action figures based on comic books, right, guys? So once again, we have the Red Hood here. And unfortunately, he has fallen victim to the new No Guns with DC characters. So unfortunately, uh, yeah, the crowbar is the only weapon accessory that he comes with, so we'll go ahead and take a closer look at that in a sec. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at all the other stuff he comes with. He does come with that typical McFarlane DC stand right there. Can never have too many of those. And of course, a trading card. And they've decided to start using like the actual figures and photos and not like comic art, which is odd, but it is what it is. Here's the back. You can pause the video if you want to read that. Um, so yeah, guys, let's go ahead and pull him forward right now and take a closer look at this crowbar because this is it when it comes to accessories and honestly i just wish if that's really it they would have just at least given him a uh, fist of hands as well you know in the box in the package because you can't even punch anybody with you know i mean i'm happy don't get me wrong i'm happy that they gave us trigger finger hands so that way if you happen to have an extra pair of guns which i do uh you can you know give them to this guy and he can utilize them but i feel like he should have came with an extra pair of hands as well a fisted hand so that way he can just get down and punch people uh but it is what it is so like i said you do get this crowbar as his weapon and it is very nicely done i have to admit i think it's even nicer than the other crowbars that have been released uh in the mcfarlane line even though it's the same sculpt i feel like they've painted this a lot better the other ones just look like they were 3d printed and they were slapped in the box this one looks like they actually put some you know shiny silver metal on it so uh there's another character in this wave one of the jokers that actually comes with the crowbar so i've seen photos of it already and it looks like it's that old style crowbar where they didn't even paint it so if anything i'm gonna give this guy the two handguns and this to the other joker but uh we'll see when we get there because those two have been delayed uh, i did recently get in the comedian uh joker from gamestop so that review will be coming up very shortly within this week um but i am waiting on the other two jokers to come from amazon i was actually waiting for this guy and thankfully my friend robert found him at our local target and he bought him for me and i was able to get it and cancel my amazon order which was actually delayed as well so with that being said guys let's go ahead and pull this guy forward and take a nice closer look so the only other red hood figure that i do have is the first release that was released with the two-pack uh with the robin or the nightwing um but I didn't buy the unmasked version, and I kind of do want it because it would make a great Terry McGinnis head sculpt for your Batman Beyond. That's just me, but um, I, I just wasn't feeling the the headless or not the headless, the helmetless uh, look for him. Plus, that was the first one that came with 
out gun so i was already out from that point but this guy still does look really cool despite not coming with guns uh i didn't like the new design for the gotham knights version so i will not be picking that up but i do like this one and the jacket that he comes with uh i have one of these jackets and i searched high and low for him and i finally found it and it's one of the most uh and it's one of my most favorite jackets and it's like my favorite jacket in my collection. So uh, I really liked that this guy came with it. And it looks really dope. I have to admit the arm cutouts do look a little weird. Because you know it's a leather jacket. And it just looks a little weird in my opinion. But uh, I can get over that. Because it does look like a cool jacket regardless. I just wish they would have painted these little silver pieces right here. I may ask my friend Robert to go ahead and go back and hit those if he can uh but yeah i really am digging the the paint that they use for the red hood head sculpts this cherry uh red right here is just beautiful and the way it shines and it looks metallic is just amazing i love how they are able to do that with the red hood figures that you know have masks uh so yeah guys this guy is really cool taking a look at his back we got his pants i believe the pants are the same like the lower half of the body is the same as the original red hood release i think everything is literally the same except the arms and this overlaid jacket you do get a red hood uh you know jacket poking out from the back i do like that they painted that at least so that's nice uh but yeah guys that is basically it so let's go ahead and move on into articulation he can look all the way to the right all the way to the left he can look down not too much he can only look up basically straight at you and looking down it's basically just that uh you don't really get any tilt wobble swabble much of that with mcfarland figures however you do get a nice t-pose butterfly joint in there 360 rotation at the shoulder joint bicep a rotation right there as well as double hinge elbows and rotation at the wrist and a slight hinging in and out because the cuff piece kind of hinders it you do get rotation at the upper torso right there and at the lower waist or at the waist right there and he crunches down that far crunches back that far his legs go out really far he can join the cheerleading squad he does come with a slight uh Oh, I guess he doesn't. No, no real. It's just a very slight movement of the thigh. So no real thigh swivel. Uh, double hinge knees. But they only go back that far. The back, however, does kind of look diaperish. Ah, I just noticed that. <laughs> the front looks pretty decent. The back, you could totally tell it's a separate piece and it's softer. Uh, they just should have made this like a little thicker so it would fill out. But it is what it is. I'm going to be taking pics of him from the front more than, often than not. So I'm not too worried about that. You do, of course, get some ankle articulation up, down, ball rocker hinge right there. And, of course toe articulation so all in all a great figure guys like i said he looks amazing uh he moves amazing with in terms of articulation and everything it's just the lack of guns that's just the thing that bugs me but we'll talk more about that and much more in coffee and toys a weekly toy news toy talk podcast every sunday morning where we will talk all the latest and great toy news reveals pre-orders and so much more so yeah guys with all that being said let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics of this guy but before that if you did enjoy this video please remember to give it a like share comment and subscribe and as always have a great fucking day Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more thought out, planned out, more edited pics called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out. If you like what you see, leave me a follow there as well. And if you guys want to see the unboxing of any figures I do reviews on for this channel, go ahead and check me out over on TikTok at Cool Figures. That's where I post all my unboxings. And join me every Sunday morning for Coffee and Toys, a weekly Toy News Toy Talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great 
Toy News, reveals, pre-orders, and so much more. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really appreciate it. As always, I'm your host, Jess the Bat Madrigal, aka The Buff Collector. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to this channel sponsor, V-Rare Store. Check them out for all your Funko Pop, anime, Pokemon card, and toy print needs. And of course, use code COOLFEARS at checkout for 10% off your order. V-Rare Store, check them out, guys.